Ten Fingers is upgrading its video capture. I have been using my telephone as my video capture method. And uh, I decided to purchase a GoPro 10 Black. I chose this camera for multiple reasons. It is a popular camera for vloggers. I'm not a very massively active person, so it's not really going to be used for my skydiving or uh, my, uh, my rock climbing. But it will be used for vlogging, and then when we take vacations, it's nice and small, so it fits in your pockets. And uh, I... Uh, so far, I kind of like a lot of the features this camera has. One of the problems I do not like, and I had asked the guy before I bought it, is, is that the mount on the bottom of the camera. I asked if it had a standard uh, standard mount, and it does not. It has this mount here, which fits into this mount here. And the camera came with this mount that is intended to be stuck onto your bicycle helmet while you go mountain biking, which is an activity I no longer do. So this video here today is going to be converting this mount to be a magnetic mount. This is going to be a short video, most likely. Maybe not. We'll see. My plan is to cut a piece of wood. This The issue is, is that there's a curve here. I don't know if you can see that too well. It's curved, so I can't just add magnets to this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a piece of wood to the bottom here, and then I am going to drill a couple small, small, small holes, number six most likely, and then countersink, and then add a couple screws. But the trick is that the screws are gonna have to be super flush with this because the tolerances of this piece that fits on here are pretty tight and then uh, once that's done I will drill holes in a piece of wood on the bottom to mount some rare earth uh, magnets and that should do the trick. I know I'm using this camera for what it's not intended and that is uh, using it to do vlog or woodworking videos but there is options. I found at uh, the A through Z Smiley Face Company online this conversion that mounts onto your standard camera mount and converts it for the GoPro. They're relatively cheap. They were only $6 for three of them and it comes with three of the mounts and three of the uh, dealer whackers here. And it allows me to convert my existing tripods. It this project is not going to take much wood at all. So I just chose a piece of scrap oak that I had sitting around and I'm just going to work with that.
the next trick is going to be sanding the other side here to uh, fit this curve so what we do is just gonna mark that curve and then we just can use a belt the belt sander and oscillating belt sander and just sand it and then when I think I'm close I'll test it and see if it looks good and then try and try and try again until it's done all right I sanded it down to 120 and uh, now what I want to do is I don't have a lot of confidence of the ability of this uh, double stick tape to stick permanently to wood so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill some hole four holes into this base and then I will countersink them and uh, then I'll glue it on and then sink the screws in place uh, I chose some number fours so uh, they're pretty small screws but they should be more than strong enough for this project All right, it's not perfect. I kind of overspilt my uh, super glue, but I can now do a vertical shot. It doesn't move I, unless I move it. Uh, it holds it perfectly. And now I can do a shot like GoPro, stop recording. Finally, just remember, after every woodworking project, you should always count your fingers. You end with 10. Good job.